Today we're making a clock out of lemons. You will need a lemon battery kit, a lemon, a cutting board, and a knife. Let's get started. So first up, we opened up our kit. Ours came with two copper electrodes and two zinc electrodes, as well as this clock and some wires. We followed our kit's instructions, but your kit might be different, so make sure you read the instructions first. Start by getting an adult to help cut a lemon in half. Place one of each electrode into each lemon half, so in each lemon we had one zinc and one copper electrode. This may be tricky, so make sure you take your time for this step. Make sure that the electrodes aren't touching and that they're sticking straight up out of the lemon. Then connect the red wire to a copper electrode. Our electrodes had holes where we could stick the wire through. Then connect the black wire to a zinc electrode on the other lemon. Finally, use the white wire to connect the last two electrodes. So this is one copper electrode and one zinc electrode. Again, making sure that the electrodes aren't touching. Now it's time to turn on the clock. Watch as it runs off of the battery power generated by the lemons. When I remove an electrode, the circuit breaks and the battery doesn't work anymore. When I put the electrode back in, it works again. So how does this work? What's happening is the zinc electrode is oxidizing or losing electrons. And the copper electrode is reducing or gaining electrons. This flow of electrons generates power that is then able to power the clock. The reason we use a lemon is because it's high in electrolytes. Electrolytes are minerals that carry charge. This means that this doesn't only work with lemons, but also with oranges, potatoes, or other fruits and vegetables that contain high electrolytes. Bye bye! I'd love to see your lemon batteries, so be sure to tag me in your posts on Instagram at stem underscore files. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, like, and share.